Hi, my name is Heidi and I'm a licensed clinical social worker at Arnold Palmer Hospital Center for Digestive Health. Conversations about mental health are valuable in developing trusting and honest relationships with our youth. Yes, it can be uncomfortable. Yes, it can be intimidating, but the pros outweigh the cons every time. Kids are having these conversations whether we're a part of them or not. So it's our responsibility to guide them in a healthy way with good information. Talking to teens in general can be hard, but the best way is to do it direct. Let them know the reason that you're coming to them. Let them know, I care about you and I want to touch base with you. I understand being a teenager is tough. I understand that life can be stressful as a teen and I want to check in with you and see how you're handling that stress. If you see some changes in your teen, let them know. I notice you've been having a hard time sleeping lately, or I see you no longer are spending time with friends like you used to. Um, be comfortable and allow science, silence because this may be when your teen is thinking things through. Um, sit with it. Explain to them that you're there still and that you'll, they can come back later to talk to you. Um, if their teen isn't ready to talk, then just introduce the topic, but don't push. Try again a few days later once they've had time to think about what you've said. So ask them open-ended questions to prevent yes or no answers. And spend time with your teens having these conversations over ice cream or outside or enjoying a meal. So you know your child best and how to approach them. So build on that and start that conversation and keep it going. It's not a one and done. It's an ongoing conversation that they need to know that you're there for them and always have an open door.